Today in our 2015 Kia Optima, we'll be having a look at and installing the Kirk Class 1 trailer hitch receiver, part number C11025. Here's where a hitch looks like installed. As you can see, our hitch here is tucked up nicely underneath our fascia, sits nice and tied up against it, giving us the maximum amount of ground clearance that we possibly can have, and yet still giving us plenty of clearance around our receiver opening here making this an ideal hitch to use with bike racks and cargo carriers. Now welded onto the bottom of the receiver and the frame of our hitch is our safety chain loop plate. This plate style design has two openings, one on each side of the receiver, which are fairly large openings, which shouldn't be an issue to hook on most safety chain hooks. On the side of our receiver here is an industry standard half inch diameter hitch pin hole to secure any of our hitch mounted accessories. The hitch pin and clip is included with the hitch. Welded onto the back of our receiver is this reinforcement collar, which helps give us a more refined appearance and also reinforces the shank of the receiver a little bit. This hitch features a 200 pound max gross tongue weight rating, which is the amount of weight forcing down, and a 2000 pound max gross trailer weight rating, which is the amount it can pull. You wanna consult with the owner's manual of your Optima and not exceed what the vehicle is rated for. Now, if you're using this hitch for a non-trailer application, such as with a bike rack or a cargo carrier, Kurt does require the use of a stabilization strap, which is sold separately to help support the load. Now for a few measurements to better assist you in choosing any hitch mounted accessory you may need, such as a bike rack or a cargo carrier. You're looking at about 11 inches from the ground to the top of the receiver opening, and about four inches from the center of the hitch pin hole to the remote part of the back bumper. Now that we've gone over some features, we'll show you how to get it installed. All right, to begin our install, we'll be at the back of our vehicle, and we're going to put a support strap in place to help hold the weight of our exhaust. In some applications, your Kia Optima will have an underbody panel. You would have to remove this in order to install the hitch. Ours does not have that, so if yours has that, just follow the steps and in the instructions. And now we'll take some spray lubricant and spray our exhaust hangers. We have one on the outer side of each of our mufflers. And then we have one here at our Y pipe. So the reason we sprayed our hangers with lubricant is because we need to lower our exhaust and the lubricant will make them slide off easier. Let's use a pry bar and we can pry them off. And now we need to remove our exhaust heat shields on both sides. We have four 10 millimeter nuts that hold these in place. Then our heat shield, pull down. Now each one of our frame rails has two foam plugs that cover our holes. We'll just pull these on down. Now on our forward hole here, we need to enlarge this slightly in order to get our hardware through. I'll use a carbide bit to help grind around the outside edge of it. If you have a step bit, you can use one of those to enlarge it. We're just looking to enlarge it enough for our hardware to pass through. All right, perfect. Now to help prevent rust, we'll spray paint around the edge of the hole that we enlarged. This will help protect any of the bare metal. Now we'll take our fish wire, go through the rearmost hole in the frame rail, and we'll go up towards the hole that we enlarged where it comes out. Take one of our blocks, stick it on the pull wire, insert it into the frame rail, thread on our carriage bolt, insert that in the frame rail as well, and pull it on down through. We'll remove our pull wire. Now we're gonna do what's called a reverse fish wire technique. Take our pull wire, slide our block on, thread on our carriage bolt, stick the bolt inside the frame rail, followed by the block, and we'll pull the bolt back down through and remove the pull wire. We'll repeat the same process for the other side. Now with an extra set of hands, we'll raise our hitch on up in position, and we'll secure it into place with our flange nuts. 
Now we'll snug down our hardware with a three quarter inch socket. And now we'll torque our hardware to the amount specified in the instructions. Now we'll raise our heat shield back into position and resecure it with our nuts. We'll have to bend it a little bit to fit around our hitch. Three of the four nuts will go back on. And we'll do the same on the other side. Okay, now we can raise our exhaust back up in position and reinstall our hangers. And that completes our look at and installation of the Kirk Class 1 trailer hitch receiver, part number C11025 on our 2015 Kia Optima.